Oh, gross! Please tell me Drax is the only one who's got to go in that creepy egg sack. So the shepherds found fresh flock. Followers. Think fast, beard butt! How the... You know not the gravity of your treacherous trespass! Not quell a god. <laughs> Prepare for oblivion, interloper. Oh, what's this one? Okay, Green Meanie, you're up. <sighs> Found you. Nasty uglies from that busted noggin of yours. It's okay, guys. It's him. Aaron Witchcraft. No. Wait. Aiden Warsock. Ashley Warsock. Adam Warlock? That's it! The Golden God guy! Hold on. This guy's Raker's old divine whatever? Looks pretty good for a dead guy. Were you not sent by the sanctimonious shepherd? Us? With Raker? Not a chance. We're trying to shut his ass down. See? Friends. Okay, big guy. And we go. Come on! All the ones where we die already happened. Raker's got half the galaxy going cuckoo bananas, her friend included. I swapped your ass for a newer, younger, blue-skinned model. So, can you help us? Mantis seems to think you can cure Drax. My heavenly healing is veiled malignance. A first folly I swore never to repeat. Ugh, can someone translate this guy? He said no. What protection I can proffer is to remain reclusive. Not this time, Goldie. The pieces need to go back together. We just gotta get you all closer to the puzzle. And that would be... In here, of course. Whoa, wait, let, let's talk about... What the butt? It's like the beginning of Space Odyssey. Welcome to the Astral Plane, Snorlord. Teleported us? Oh, no. You're still comfy cozy with me. I just merged your minds. Merged our what? I gave no consent to this, Planescaper. She's not big on asking permission. It's all pretty sure this and fate of the galaxy that. Don't you get huffy, god guy. Your gold hands are all over this mess. What's that supposed to mean? I thought this guy was how we cure Drax. Cure and cause can coalesce. Uh, guys? Is that Drax? Hi, Groot. So we're going into Drax's head. Literally. Green Meanie's in there somewhere. Find him, and convince him to come back to reality. Uh, Mantis, please tell me we're supposed to be going into the bright light. Pretty sure. You need to reach the heart of Drax's promise. Much deeper than I've ever seen. Wait, if you've never seen it, does that mean it never happens? Hope not. Just keep going. And if we lose contact, listen to Amy Winsaw. She means you. Quite clearly. Whoa. This is Drax's promise? Mine was a lot less downery. This is just the doorstep. 
Poor guy was stuck here, reliving the loss of his family. Your friend's fear and pain primed him as prey. There's the big galoot. That was easy. This is just an echo, little fuzzy. Uh, <laughs> you're not the only one that hears that, right? Thanks. <laughs> we got a runner! After his spotlight! I don't know this part! Tracks! Please be something soft down there! <laughs> Drax? Not Drax. Thanos. Bet you weren't expecting a family reunion, eh, Gamora? I'm gonna enjoy this. Hope the rest of you are as ready for this as I am! Let's see those branches! What's with that helmet? Maybe he always wanted horns! so tough after all. Something's not right. You failed to fathom the rules of this realm. <laughs> what the? Okay, that's new. That's new, right? I think I'd remember there being two of them. Twice the ugly, twice the target wreck. Twice the pride, Griff! Fortune favors failure. Get ready! Hey Goldie, don't suppose you want to lend a hand! You fight a phantom. Fear given form. It is a futile foray. At this rate, we're gonna be outnumbered. It's like he can't be killed. As far as Drax is concerned, he probably can't. I get the 
impression something doesn't want us to reach Drax. <laughs> Maybe Drax doesn't want us to reach Drax. If you're lost, you can say you're lost. Drax! How the... It doesn't matter. Get him! There he is again! Drax, buddy! Wait up! Forced to follow fools. <laughs> Damn it! I can hear you with a You play pawns on a board built by your opponent. You got a better idea? I'm all ears. In circles. This whole thing is circles. You know what I mean. out of nowhere. I, am I know it's his kid. All kids are creepy. They're too small. It's unnatural. <laughs> this is me fully grown. It ain't the same. Working on that. Left, left. Huh? You can see Your friend me. is too far fallen to be willed back by words. For someone who's been no help. There! Look! Hey, how did you beat me? Because <laughs> I am your father. You've been playing in your mother's garden again. I was hunting. Hunting dirt? No, I chased it, but it was too quick. Fools rush forward. A hunter waits, chooses her moment. Drax. <clears throat> Papa, are you all right? Drax, come here. It is time to come home. What the flock is that? Yes, little one. Your mother waits. Insidious succubus, release your thrall! It's not in Kansas anymore. What the fuck are those? Spawn of shadow! Snuff their source while I widen our They're way! They're coming from those nets! Prepare to be pulled with 
within. Hold on to your tails! Don't you dare! I ain't cleaning wood chips out of my car! If we're all right, define all right. I think we gotta look at whatever's keeping us from Drax. You saw simply its spawn. That black stuff. I saw something like it in my promise. There will be more. We have merely moved deeper within its domain. Speaking of which... Is that... Drax's wife? I think so. Hovat. Then this must be Drax's home. You two certainly took your time. Only fools rush. Come, my love. Let us go inside. Drax, buddy. Your words are wasted. Wind. Easy, all right. I got this. Come on, big guy. I know you can hear me. Why do you haunt me? We're gonna lose him again. It's me, buddy. Stormlord, remember? We're all here. You're stronger than this, Drax. Come on, you big lug. Don't leave me alone with Quill. Drax, dinner is ready. That's not Hovat. You gotta let her go. You do not know what you ask. naked in daylight with our insides hanging out. We gotta find a way to even the playing field, Quill. This bloodlust you feel, it, it makes things unreal. And it'll get you killed if you don't control it. We need to stay tight and on the ball. Trust me, please. Who's with me? No eh, so much for leadership. Peter, try to work. Look out! Kablamo! Working on it, man! I can't wait to tell Drax he's got worms! Alright! Oh, right. That should do it! Or not! This charade. Cover your eye holes. Not good. Clark in nowhere is where we are. Maybe it's not all bad. I don't see any new promise, at least. We are an empty eternal echo, naked nothingness. Not helping. Hobo wizard. All right, everyone just split up and look for a way out. Or forward, or. Whatever. I lose a bet if I die in a dark pit. It was alone in a dark pit. Mantis! A little help here! Ow! Rocket! I tried pinching myself. 
You and your flark and earth superstitions. I try anything at this point. Wake up! What if the big lug runs again? There! Look! I can't believe that worked. Let's go. Part of him is still with us, I'm sure of it. I hope you've got one hell of a speech plan, Peter. That makes two of us. Why are you doing this? Will you not leave me be? You gotta trust us, Drax. We're trying to help. By destroying my home. Your blissful ignorance is in ignoble pursuit. Easy, Shakespeare. We got this. Come on. You don't really want to stay in this dark hole? I would endure the depths of Sarduth to be with my family. Drax, love. It is time to eat. special. They are the only thing that matters. My Hovat was the most fearless mate I've ever known. He brought me peace even during times of war. My Camaria. My innocent little Camaria. She was the best of us both. Despite her meager stature, they both were were. They were. Peter Quill. My family is gone. What sits before me? I don't know. But it's not real. It ain't good. It is a perversion, fed by desperation. Without it, I will have nothing. I cannot be alone again. You're not alone, man. We're here for you. We've all lost someone, Drax. But it gets easier if you surround yourself with the right people. I am Groot. Uh, Groot said some mushy stuff. Let's just pretend I said it too. We're a team. Papa? Are you okay? Join us, Drax. Are you hurt, Papa? Talk to us, love. Resent the time that we lost. <gasps> Shall love and honor you both. Always.
How you doing, big guy? You okay? I am of sound mind, thanks to you all. I owe amends for my lapse in judgment. Hey, you don't owe us squat. Ain't none of us perfect. It's kind of our thing. <laughs> How much do you remember? Great darkness grew with every lie that I swallowed. The longer I remained with my family, the more certain I became that I could never leave. Peter Quill, your child is in danger. If her pain is half my own, the darkness may consume her entirely. Not if I can help it. We gotta be smart about this. There's a whole lot of converted between us and her. A whole lot of that black blorf, too. And anyone want to tell me why Harry Hobo was able to suck it up? Morrison, why that thing looked like him. Because it is me. Time to go. Goldie Braun! Want to get back here and explain that bombshell? Time is tight and your understanding unimportant. Can I shoot him? Come on, let me shoot him. Look, I don't know what's going on, but it's clear this is at least a little bit your fault. My contrition is clear, as is my resolve to rectify my recklessness. Hey, we get reckless. It's kind of our brand. Imagine... Ambivalent omnipotence, drifting in darkness. Uh, speaking of dark... Such was my celestial solitude. Power without purpose, till uncovered by Raker. His crew were convalescent. Plagued by a pox, I was serendipitously suited to soothe. A ship full of sick people just happens upon someone with limitless healing? We were need and needed, symptom and solace. He worshipped the wonder of my ways and declared me divine. I think we know where this is going. I do not know where this is going. This is the scary part? As the flock of followers fawned, a dark delight developed deep within me. And in the shadows it spoke. Weak whelps, pernicious priesting, feeble fools, fitful feasting. Hubris made hunger. A cancerous craving called Magus. Hang on. You can't name a craving. I named nothing. Clawed through my consciousness. Its deafening demand sated solely by suffering. Can you listen to this thing? Its call is too great to ignore. I too heard this voice. It was pure putrefaction. Sown from the seed of my strength, my soul stone gone sour, I resolved to rip it out. Rip it out? How? A mechanical marvel wrought by Raker would sever the stone from my skull and excise the evil entangled within. Translation, you let Raker steal your powers. Whatever his wayward wander, he was on that day my friend. He swore to separate sanctity from sin, that my healing could yet be harnessed without harm. Sure, but who's harnessing? Sounds like you were careless. Deluded by desperation. My mind was melding with Magus. Did it work at least? In a savage sense, it split my soul in twain and cast us to the cosmos. So, no. For me, there was only darkness. I awoke half whole. Certain the stone shattered. How Magus merged with another I know not. I think... I can answer that. After I rejected my promise, I got pulled into Nikki's. Corel was there. She was trying to show me something. Peter, you can't trust anything you saw in there. This was different. And it felt different. She took me back to the QZ and I saw that Magus thing. I saw it get all twisted up with Nikki and I... I saw it kill Corel. You hear yourself? How'd she show you this if she's dead? Quite conceivable. 
Her soul may be snared by the stone, chained to the child. That's what Corel said. The three of them are somehow connected. She said Nikki needs to accept her death. Magus preys upon her pain, manipulates her mind while feeding on her flock of followers. And I'm guessing it never gets full. Its appetite is insatiable. If unassailed, Magus will absorb all. We're gonna need one hell of a plan. Well, you better come up with it quick, because I see daylight. The bond between Magus and Matriarch must be broken. It harvests its hunger through the host. So... Nikki's like the head vampire. If we cure her, it'll free the rest. Why didn't you just say that? So step one, find Nikki. Step two, convince her mom ain't coming back from the dead. Step three, get that stone away from her and mop the floor with that Magus thing. And you show no shortage of assurance. Yeah, this one's Mr. Positivity. It's enough to make you sick. The stone is both bondage and bridge for Magus, and a young mind is most malleable. If Magus is merged with her, she may not survive the severing. We won't let it come to that. Not to join the Golden Downer, but how are we supposed to find the kid? What are you... What's oh, going... Flark. Oh, Flark. They can go anywhere, convert anyone. We need to go now. Why does that sound like you're not coming with us? These are my people. Some still survive if I stay. Then we'll stay and help. Go. I'll be where I'm needed when I need to be. Just trust me. Don't go dying on me. I'm starting to actually get you. Papa Squat Golden Boy, you're making me nervous. Or perhaps your nerves need gnawing. What did I do? This precarious plan proves more meek by the moment. The Madonna was meant to be among us. She knows what she's doing. Eventually. I'm sorry, sins I have wrought to rest me among such a motley crew. Did he? Did he take my room? Not so much as a yip from the mud. Groot says he'll keep trying. Where's Mr. Fancy Words? It is assumed Peter Quill's quarters. It was a daring display of dominance. Don't you start. Usually I'd say who needs him, but we do. So you better fix this one, Quill. Just try not to piss him off any more than he already is. If it is to be a fight to the death, I will honor the outcome. If he kills you, I get your guns. bet on Peter winning that fight. It took all five of us to beat him last time. Moore, are you okay letting Mantis fight the church alone out there? She won't fight. She'll focus on evacuating people. Maybe they can all hide in the caves. So she's just gonna let the church take over her home world? Mantis would tell you that people matter more than the planet. And she knows that the church won't stop coming until we rescue Nikki. You have great confidence in this celestial Madonna. She's one of the few people I know I can trust. Really? She freaks me out. Because she's smarter than you? And kinder. Hey, that nickname makes my skin crawl. I'm furry, not fuzzy. Not even that little. Hey, Quill, 
You seem like you're in a good mood. Huh. Do I? I've got a great idea for a new blaster extension. Can't wait to put it together. Well, now that the gang's back together and we've got a minute to breathe, I think you deserve an official thank you for what you did on Lamentis. <laughs> Quill, I, uh... I know you don't like that kind of sappy stuff, but I really mean it. Knowing about the crap those scientists did to you, not only does it make my blood boil, it puts everything into perspective. Oh, come on, it was just a puddle. I don't know if I could have gotten over something like that. You saved our lives, man. You deserve a bit of praise. The rodents saved your lives, and scientists were involved. I have many questions. Yeah, well, save them for the next time we all get a drink together, buddy. Let's make this quick. What do you want, Quill? <laughs> Done in record time! Got a crick in my back because of that. Did you just... You have closed the refrigerator door. Yeah, I do that sometimes. I thought I was the only one who ever bothered. I thought I was the only one. I observed the tree closing at once. Glad you're back on our side, Drax. I got a feeling we'll need to go full destroyer on this one. I should be ready, Peter Quill. I have witnessed the threat posed by Magus firsthand. No one should suffer from its malignant lies. I owe all of you a great debt of gratitude. It would be my honor to fight beside you with all of my might. That's a lot of might. <laughs> Groot agrees with you, Muscles. Sounds like we've got ourselves a nice church butt-kicking party. I only hope our guest agrees to join this buttock-striking celebration. Hey, Groot. Did you reach Cosmo? That explains why we ain't been able to reach Cosmo. If you don't answer it, they'll vaporize us. I will handle this communication. All yours, buddy. Deceased wife and daughter are with me. I thank the matriarch for her gift. May <sighs> the promise be fulfilled. You are clear to land at the spaceport. Rally's regiments while we wait whistling in the wings landing as fast as I can go what the flark Great cocoon boy thinks he's a butterfly now he is a man of action Let's just hope that he can keep the church busy while we look for Nikki. Didn't think you'd be able to bluff your way through security, Muscles. I am quite adept at deception. 
We're gonna need more than that to get to the Continuum Cortex and rescue Nikki. Especially with Golden Boy jumping ship. Should we, like, try to find him? Time is running out. We cannot lose focus if we are to save the girl. Drax is right. Let's just hope Warlock can do a bit of damage on his side. I hope we can salvage some stuff. Let's do this. Time to save Nikki. Peter. Okay. Just be cool. Let me handle these guys. Fulfillment. The what now? The realization of the Matriarch's promise. The beginning of a new world. One without death, or pain, or fear. You should know this. Weren't you vetted and cleared to land here? What? Of course we were. How are you not aware of the fulfillment? Something is wrong. These heretics must be stopped! Attack! Spaceport. They have been very busy redecorating. Scott! Cosmos Tower's shut down. Are you good? That's because it's never been dark before. You do realize some of the guys shooting at us were nowhere security? This does not bode well for the dark. Never was the Mutt's biggest fan, but we could have used a backup telepath. Just because the tower shut down doesn't mean Cosmo is too. Last time we were here, he knocked out me, Gamora, and Drax, and Lady Hellbender's bounty hunters, like it was nothing. We just gotta have faith, okay. Kinda dreading what we're gonna see in the marketplace. The same thing we saw when we flew in. Yeah, but it'll be up close. Oh, I really stunk sometimes, but... Clark, over there! There's so many of them. I thought most nobodies would have rejected the promise. Everyone wants something they can't have. You're right, Rocket. The people who lived here were rough. I once saw someone beat someone else to a pulp because they gave them a compliment. No way they'd willingly join up. A sword to the throw can be very convincing. So can the promise. They got Flark and Faith batteries everywhere. Just like on Hell's Hope. Perhaps they have built another giant ray gun inside the Continuum Cortex. To siphon Faith from multiple worlds at once? Is that even possible? The energy ain't filling these batteries. It's moving away from them. So they're powering something. Sure looks like it. I'm 
surprised the church was able to seize the cortex. It seemed pretty secure last time. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, that didn't work. I'm going in. What about the fanatics? I'll toast them if I see them. We're the only ones that can do this, right? Gamora, you should be able to get your sword in there now. Give me a boost. Let's hope it holds. Oh, Scott! Not Mantlos. Look at her. This is personal quip. Peter, let's go! I know how much you love this dive. It was the one spot in this whole Flarkin galaxy where a guy could feel safe. I mean, except for the bar brawls, and the security raids, and the bounty hunters. We'll drink to it later. Right now, we've got to keep moving. When we are done here, we will need to tell a Rhapsodus about these adventures. There has been no sign of Goldie Braun since he left from our ship. Adam Warlock. Might be splattered somewhere across the lower city. Or got picked up by a wandering creep squad. Or maybe he was lying about which side he was on and is just waiting to attack us. The warlock carries an old grudge. He would not align himself with the Grand Unifier. Yeah, what do we need the Golden Boy for anyways? We were doing fine without him. I was not fine. Magus was devouring my soul. Your memory is suspect. Warlock's stronger than any of us. And he's got a pretty good reason to hate Raker. So you buy his ripped my soul in two story. Let the Lucas be prepare to spill blood. Careful, Peter Quill. Guys, look down. It's an awful lot of light. You're thinking it's the full Flarkman, ain't you? But it could just be runoff from the cables. Whatever these whack jobs are up to, they need a lot of juice. Perhaps this is how they powered their fleet to reach Lamentis. Nah, the Cortex could handle that on its own. What? It was a good pun. No, it really wasn't. Regardless, we must reach the Undercity to find the girl and stop whatever they are doing. And we'll have to be ready for them to try and stop us. The converted ones will be prepared to die in order to bring their loved ones back to life. Which is pretty ironic if you think about it. Our level of cooperation is invigorating. We have become a formidable team. Yep, sure have, Drax. Ain't we just one big, happy Flarkin family? What are you doing with that garbage? She's not garbage. Hit harder while he's noosing him! That's 
not good! Stop him! Grapple him up, bud! No bear! He's boosting everyone but us! He must eliminate them for this little conduit! Put your back off! Hey, Frosty! Drax! Shut him down! I will enjoy this! You won't ruin her this time! Ruin who? What's going on right now, Gamora? This one mocks our every effort! Root, snag him! Definitely not good. Gamora, wait! Hold on a sec! Why? So more children can be sacrificed in the name of Rager's flarked up church? No, of course not. Just... Just what, Peter? I don't know. Breathe. Every minute we waste. We don't have time to breathe. I know Raker brings back bad memories. This isn't about Thanos! It's about Nikki. And what men like Raker and Thanos do to girls like her. Like me. My sister. If I had just been better at protecting Nebula, maybe... Maybe she wouldn't be dead. Whoa. What? Nebula's dead? How? By who? Tell me, so I can find him and shake his Kratakan hand. By me. You killed your sister? She is the one you saw in the Matriarch's Promise. That's how I knew it was a lie. The nebula I knew had been twisted into a hateful, vengeful monster thing. One who would never stop unless I stopped her. So I did. I just never expected to survive. Why didn't you say something? It's not exactly a conversation starter. Hi, I'm Gamora. I murdered my sister. Can we be friends? Of course we can. How can you be friends with a monster? Why would you want that on your team? A team I actually... I kind of enjoyed being on, all things considered. Well, uh, I hate Nebula, so I actually would have... What? I'm just saying it don't change nothing. Actually, it changes everything. The most deadly woman in the galaxy just admitted... She loves us. <sighs> I did not. You did. You said you were in love with us right after the part about killing your sister. I said I enjoyed your company. That is the Katathian definition of love. Like. I I'll give you like. C can we just move on? Agreed. That's about all the love fest I could take. We accept you, Gamora Zenwubri. Pretty sure we're married now. This is excruciating. All right, I'm pretty sure we've all caught our breath. Let's say we go stop a nut job cult leader. Yes. Number one, run! 
my friends, unless they send reinforcements. If they do, we'll have to move like lightning. Hit them from behind. But what if they're too fast? We'll need another plan. Hey, hey, hey! Every battle comes with some kind of curveball. Trying to predict where it's gonna land only makes things worse. Relax. It's easy to overthink when things get tense, but if we focus... We can hit him hard. Who's with me? I am with you, Peter Quill! Yes! Feel this! Why are there so many of them? Goes to show how many unhappy people there are! They are Throw that track! Cosmos Tower is the quickest way. You know, I usually hated when that Cosmos spotlight would shine down on me, but now I kind of miss it. I did not know you were so sentimental. Almost drowning changes a guy. wide to cross. Maybe we can bridge the gap. We keep saying bridge, and it's starting to sound like a made-up word. Drax? I have been eager to topple something over. We should be prepared in case the Grand Unifier arrives. Really? A Faith Force field? If we can find the power source, we should be able to turn it off. Let's get looking, then. So, Gamora... Uh, how am I supposed to drop the most interesting thing she's ever done? That's it, Peter. Let's go. We need to get out of here before Raker shows up. All right, get ahead. Let's book it. That was not the time. <laughs> Guardians of the galaxy. The Matriarch has chosen to enact the fulfillment from this station. Then you shall not stop her. She hasn't chosen anything. You've been manipulating her from the start. She is the light. And I am merely her servant. Kind of hard to be the light with that dark monster thingy inside of her. Blasphemy! You may have rejected her promise. But you will. It returns you from death's cold clutches. Your 
pain has pushed you to a perilous precipice, old friend. you die. The form is fleeting, but the foundation remains forever. Now cease this stubborn senselessness before it reaps a ruinous reward. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. That was great. Right in the butt. Did you see the look on his face? It was all like, oh, my gilded glutes. Regal rear. His perfect posterior. His champion cheeks. giving up just in time because we're not getting back on that bridge i know where we are there's a road nearby that intersects the main bridge to cosmos where it should be uh right below us drax buddy let's make a hole that's one way down the best way <laughs> Still at it. At least our guy seems to be winning. Ba -ba -ba -boom, baby! You sure are destroying a lot of advertising today. Like we need another reminder to buy Calex cream. Are you Groot? Uh, Groot thinks we'll be nowhere royalty once we save it. Are you gonna make us a bridge or what? <coughs> Who cares if he didn't ask? This ain't no time to be polite, you big stump. Don't suppose Groot knows another side route? If I could just get to the other side, I could hack that thing and drop the bridge. If you can get to the other side, we can get to the other side, and it wouldn't matter. <sighs> Throw me. What? Throw me! Just get muscles to huck me across. 
Do you have any idea how far down it is if you miss? We ain't got time to argue. I'll make it. Leave this to me! Whoa! Glad that wasn't rocket! You are a valued member of this team. Not a tool to be thrown about. Worried about this ritual. And what's really gonna happen if you can't stop it? Ain't gonna be dead people coming back, holding hands and wagging tails, that's for sure. We don't have to worry about that because we will stop it. More specifically, I'm gonna make Raker eat my element guns. Perhaps shooting him will yield better results. And then we're gonna bring my daughter home and that's... That's what worries you. One problem at a time. How dumb are these Flartnards to even fall for this full Flarkman garbage? Magus demands adulation, trapping you with vile illusion while feeding on your soul. I felt it in my promise too. That endless... Hunger. Holy faith! All that light isn't leading to the Cortex. It is the Cortex. How could that mutt let this happen? Looks like you'll get to ask yourself. This isn't the end, what? Cosmo! We've got to get down there! Don't count him out just yet. I've seen him get out of worse scrapes. The beast is being exposed to the promise! No! Get away from my dog! Win. Look, I know we want to celebrate because we're maybe two steps away from winning this fight. Celebrate? But if we start dancing before we actually win, these scud holes will send us to our graves. So let's keep our focus and show these losers exactly how we rock. Who's with me? That was Don't anyone understand that speech? This has got my name on it. Hold them down, crew. Cosmo, you've got to snap out of it! The moon is scrambled! The is wide open! Shoot the cow! Deadliest woman incoming! Feel this? This is an historic battle! The last stand of nowhere! We lose Cosmo to them and it's all over! Danger close, Rocket! Cosmo! Cosmo was here! The dog is lost in memories of the past! I guess this means there's been nowhere resistance! We're the resistance now! Nowhere security is in big trouble after this! If there's any of them left! 
Cut to the chase! Why does the dog not mind blast them? Something's wrong with him! What the fuck are you doing? He's one of them now. He's our friend. Yeah, so was Drax. And I ain't going inside this Fleabag's head. Maybe it doesn't have to come to that. Hey, buddy. Are you, uh... <laughs> Take him out before it's too late. Wait! He's still in there. I can hear him. I hear only barking. Focus your mind. He's there. Uh, oh, Flark, it just shoot the mutt. Bad dog. Damn it, Cosmo. Who called Cosmo? Shusef. It's us, Dog Breath, Guardian of Galaxies. Strange. Cosmo smell old friend. But the real Builder Quinn would never bark at Cosmo. Oh, you didn't leave me much of a choice. He doesn't see us. He's still in the promise. Cosmo, where are you? What do you see? Blue sky. In cars to chase. Cosmo is big. Duma. How you see? Home. He's talking about Earth. Smell of fresh grass. Feeling of dirt between paws. No psychic burden, just walkies for going. And the ball for fetching. If you missed your home planet, could you not simply return at any time? Not at time that matter. Same reason Katarian, not go home. Earth was great. Cats to chase, trees to be on. But the point is... I get it. We all get homesick. But you gotta bury that bone and move on. Pyotr Quill does not know what he asks. He's like fleas, biting and biting, no matter how much Cosmo scratch. Oh, you Terrans have a real thing for your home planet. What's one hunk of rock over another? He's not about rock. He's about what Cosmo had on rock. Foot of bed for sleeping, belly for rubbing, collar. With name. You miss being someone's property? Cosmo not property. Belong to family. Then one day, family gone. Men in suits sent Cosmo into space. Cosmo searched many dog years for those he lost. But yet... You had owners. And it sounds like they gave you up. What about your puppies, Cosmo? They're your family. Cosmo Young are... They're here, man. And they're counting on you. For love? For protection? But humans call for Cosmo to heal. Must be loyal. Those pups actually need you. Be loyal to them. Don't abandon them in space the way you were. Cosmo would never. But you have. They're somewhere here on nowhere. Maybe needing your help right now. Come on, Cosmo, you gotta know this doesn't smell right. Yet, it's too late for old dog to learn new trick. Mother child will honor promise, and Cosmo will be best boy. Fine, we'll stop them ourselves. This Cosmo cannot allow. We'll induce coma until fulfillment of promise be. Wait, what? It's for best. You are how you say. In dog house. No, hold on! Your precious promise can't be fulfilled without this! What is? What is it? I don't want it. Want it? Ready? Go get it, boy! No. I can't believe that worked. It won't for long. Let's get out of here before he comes back. <sighs> Gotta hand it to you, Quill. That was pretty clever. 
All right, I still got access codes from when me and Groot were on vacation. You mean when you quit the team? Why do you always gotta be so... Flark! Attacking Scratch Snatchers, gah! Cosmo changed the codes. I guess so. All right, people, let's find another way through. Perhaps you entered the code incorrectly. I have made the same mistake. With those sausage fingers? Of course you have. These nimble digits don't make mistakes. Drax, can you handle this? An intriguing texture. I fear I will regret this. Just don't start kicking up dust. So, stolen codes, jail time. What exactly were you and Groot doing down here before? We picked up a job from a Signog at Mantlos while you were off looking for the mutt. What job? The less you know, the better. The flark was that? An earthquake? Unlikely. We are not on Earth. Whatever they're doing, I think they just took it to the next level. The ritual must be starting soon. Good question, bud. How do we know we could even stop something this powerful? When he was in his promise, Drax said Magus was... Eating my soul. And anything that eats can die, right? That don't sound too scientific. You wish to poison its food supply. Let's tear through them. Riker's not gonna wait for us. He knows we are here. We'll attempt to start the ritual early. Let's go, Drax! Toss it! Watch the large ones explosive! Oh, Man! I totally laid out that psycho soldier! Wait a second! Stop sending it to him! It's not the shield, it's the mind! Enough already! Oh, you struggle in vain! Soldier out, man! I'll enjoy this! The big one has blown by! With my lightning! security detail. Gross. That's a lot of brain powder. Yeah, that stuff will turn your airway to sludge. Gray lung, they call it. Good thing I've got my mask. Oh, that won't help. Their particles are so fine, they're already secret. You probably already got the gray lung. Drax, a little help, Evo? Readily. Drax, over here, hurry. I move as swiftly as is necessary. Well, you know I was just messing with you. What's that? There ain't no such thing as gray lung. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> oh, you so fell for it. Gray lung. <gasps> Careful, this place is practically falling apart. Could be all of them. Oh, the tremors have intensified. That's one way of putting it. It is an accurate statement. Well, it don't help none. Oh, what have they done to you? You, uh, okay, Rocket? No, I ain't okay. The Cortex, nowhere. What's gonna happen to this place? This filthy dump of cheap booze and shady units is the closest thing I got to a home. This isn't the first time someone's tried to take over nowhere, and it won't be the last. As long as we stop the church, all the old no-goodniks will be back in no time. You know, the good kind of no-goodniks. I hope you're right. Thanks, Quill. Minor 
entire hiccup we need to consider. How do we even shut down the Cortex now that it's all supercharged? Yeah, there ain't gonna be an easy off button on that thing. Any chance you can hack it? The Cortex isn't the problem here. It's the Flarknards who've hijacked it. We take them down, and the Cortex is just a machine with nobody at the wheel. How do you know there is a wheel? I, I saw no wheel. Yeah, th there ain't no wheel, but I don't like the idea of just leaving that thing powered up with church scut. We should focus on them faith conduits. I'm betting they all wrap through the same jump. of our own. Just watch out for quakes. Man, I really hope Warlock makes it to the finish line. <laughs> no, Goldie ain't counting on us. To him, we're just a bunch of scut soiling his fancy boots. All right, easy now. So, once we get Nikki, we wait for Warlock to catch up? And the bug lady. Our plan requires a great many people. Who said saving the galaxy would be easy? Let's just take it one thing at a time. Get Nikki and stop this fulfillment thing. How pragmatic of you. Try not to count my chickens before they hatch. Careful, get to the... Whoa, 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 whoa! Peter, do you want to do the honors? Totally. Watch this. Surprise, Scudfuckers! Rocket! Safety's off! Just try not to break the cortex when we get in there. This won't hurt much. These creeps need to know what the guardians of the galaxy are all about. These delusions do not know what's quick. Having fun preying on the weak. Rocket, blast them. Once we get inside, I'm on Raker! I got the kid! I know I can reach her! Mora! 
dodging my shots! Wizard, we stand before your temple gates! Come out and die! So glad that man is on our side right now! Careful! begins. Everyone ready? Game face is on. I have only one face. Well, put it in mean mode. Ha! <laughs> Done! What's everybody thinking? I'm thinking if Goldie didn't finish him off already. Keep an eye out for Nikki. We get her away from these wackos, then worry about finding Warlock, Mantis, and whoever else. I have faith your spawn will be saved, Peter Quill. 
Let's not. Shh. Everyone quiet. What did they do to the Cortex? Nikki. They strapped her to their Flarkin machine. And they're making the hand direct all the galaxy's faith energy right into them. Fulfillment has begun. We gotta get her out of there. But how? Free the hand, and they lose power. I count four cables. Let's pull them out.
can end this! And we can end the church! Just stay away. This is why I don't have kids. Nikki, this isn't gonna end how you think. Says who? You? I saw what you did. You should want to take it back. I can feel the light inside me. Promise will be fulfilled. Does she not realize her plan has been thwarted? <laughs> A minor setback. Isn't that right, Grand Unifier? Cortex was meant merely to ease the burden on you, Matriarch. We shall retreat to... Please, give me an excuse to kill him. Is this him? The first divine vessel? A pale shadow to your magnificence, Matriarch. Let him watch me do what he could not. I'll draw faith across the entire galaxy myself if I have to. If you think you can hand- I'll handle whatever it takes. Nick. Damn it! Eh, they ain't getting far. I got a tracker on Golden Boy's butt. You what? Yeah, I tagged him back on the bridge in case he ditched us again. We just gotta get back to the Milano. <laughs> Rocket, don't ever change. <laughs> so, about the kid going full brat on us. What? I'm just gonna ask. How you doing, Quill? That age is a difficult one. Even my sweet Camaria could be trying. I don't know. It's like it wasn't even her. Yeah, that flartin' art's really done a number on her. the continuum cortex this ain't where it usually leads scott he's good it's an illusion cosmos trapped us in another mental prison stop listen what's that a nine barking too strident for cosmo great instead of one dog we're gonna get attacked by a whole bunch of them you know what this means it means Cosmo isn't completely promised up. Yeah, it looked like he bought in to me. Then why didn't he kill us? And why would his puppies be in here too? 
because he's trying to protect us. That's a bit of a leap of logic. And maybe he left the puppies to help us escape. We just need to find them. seem more agitated than usual. Is there something wrong? I hate mazes. They used to run me through them to measure intelligence quotient. is getting fainter. It's kind of hard to follow. Don't help, every hall looks the same. He's right. We're going the wrong way. <laughs> Sure, this is the wrong way. If you're trying to follow the barks, then yeah, he's sure. <laughs> I think we're getting closer, right? The barks are getting louder, at least. seem to be heading in the right direction. Why do you sound surprised? Because I am. Peter Quill, we are no closer to finding the source of this noise. Perhaps your ears are damaged. You do listen to your music at extreme volumes. What? I only have the constant ringing some of the time. Times we're gonna walk past the same noodle shop. I can hardly hear the dog. Dog report item. We are no closer to the source of the barking. We have to be close. The yapping is getting louder. And more annoying. I think we're going the wrong way. How can you tell? I have ears, don't I? I can hardly hear the dog. Dog report item. We are no closer to the source of the barking. I think we're going the wrong way. How can you tell? I have ears, don't I?
I can hardly hear the dog. Dog report item. We are no closer to the source of the barking. I think we're going the wrong way. How can you tell? I have ears, don't I? I can hardly hear the dog. Dog report item. We are no closer to the source of the barking. I think we're going the wrong way. How can you tell? I have ears, don't I? I can hardly hear the dog. Dog report item. We are no closer to the source of the parking. I think we're going the wrong way. How can you tell? I have ears, don't I? I can hardly hear the dog. says we're getting closer. Cadathians use instead of left and right. Leeward and windward. How can you tell which is which? Depends on the wind and the position of the mountains. Hey, buddy. What are you doing in here? This charm is an obvious trap. No, no. I think he's trying to help us. Back on Earth, dogs were always trying to help people. Really? Well, on TV anyway. Aren't Cosmo's puppies telepathic? Shouldn't he be able to talk to us or something? Maybe this one's just a regular dog. Ray, now we're following one of Cosmo's kids. And it's the dumb one. He's not dumb. He's just regular. Is that what they used to tell you? The dog awaits us, Peter Quill. Too bad about Cosmo. His condition is shared by thousands across the galaxy. Millions, even. And who knows what'll actually happen to them once Raker and Nikki complete the fulfillment. We won't let that happen. We gotta get out of here before we could even try to save the galaxy. He's a fast little dude! Oh, way to get us out of the woods, little guy. 
This puny yep. whelp will be a great warrior one day. Yeah, a real beast. <laughs> if you want me to triangulate Mr. Mouthful's location, we gotta get inside. You coming, buddy? Oh, it's... it's not safe here. You ever been on a spaceship before? You gotta help your dad and family. I get it. Go get him, buddy.